Here we are at the login screen of the PeopleNet tablet device. To log into this screen, you need to enter your driver ID and password issued by the safety department upon orientation. In this example, my driver ID is test. And then I'll enter my password. Once you're done, hit done. The system will now retrieve the logs in our database and store them on the unit. The next screen will be asking us what our current duty status is. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and stay off duty. It'll then ask us for current load information, if any. In this example, we're currently hooked to a trailer. The trailer is called test. And right now, there's no shipping information, so we've entered none. If you're Bobtail, your trailer is going to be none, and your shipping info will be none you must put something in the trailer and shipping info places. Once done, hit accept. It now brings you the confirmation screen just before you log in. It's going to confirm your driver ID, your previous and current duty status you're logging in as, what your current regulation is, trailer if any, shipping info if any, and your current location and or remarks you entered. Everything looks good, so we'll hit accept. Once you log in, a notification goes to dispatch looking in the system for a new shipment. If there's one pre-planned on you, you will receive a message in the messaging box, and slowly thereafter, you'll see the workflow light up. That'll be on a future video. At the end of your day or end of your shift, you need to log out of the device. To do so, we're going to click on driver. We're going to select log out. The system's going to ask you to certify your logs from the previous day or all the previous moves. This is important to do each day, so verify your logs before you log out of the unit at the end of the day. In this case, we're going to go with yes. Everything's approved and we are leaving the truck. If you're just going into sleep or berth for the night, you may hit no to just log out of the device but not leave the truck. When logging out, it's asking what status we want to log out as. In this case, we're going to hit off break. and I'm going to hit break. Again, we get to a confirmation for a logout. It's confirming our driver ID, what our current status is, what we're going to, what trailer, if any, we still have, and any shipment info, and then the notes or remarks we picked, which in this case was break. Once done, hit accept. The system now will log you out, update your logs, and bring you back into the login screen for the next shift or next day.